going to be the biggest changes in our homes by 2020? Will the house of the future protect the environment? And what new technology do researchers think we'll be living with? Well, we've been talking to some of the people who've been thinking about the home of the future. Christine McNulty. I started the Home of the Future project to find out what people will want from their homes. They'll want all the benefits of modern technology, but without all this cluttered and complex gadgetry that we have today. They'll want homes that work for them. By 2020, all of this will be possible. We'll have things under control without all of these knobs and buttons. And what's more, the technology itself will be embedded in the very fabric of the house and its furnishings. So the idea is, once all the clutter of technology has gone, you'll be able to furnish your rooms in any style you like. You won't actually be able to see the technology, but it will be there, doing its job without getting in your way. That means the lights automatically switch off and on as you walk between rooms. And the home learns how bright you like them. A simple command gives you music, perhaps piped in from a sound library. Bark, please. And no more PowerPoints. Plugs become pads, picking up power from anywhere on the wall. And even windows will take an active part in the home, according to another researcher, David Button. This is today's glass technology, whereby combining thin transparent coatings with ordinary conventional glass, we're able to change the performance of the glass. We can diffuse the glass for privacy, and with other coatings, we can control the glare and the solar radiation. In other words, we can vary the performance of the window. So a simple command could turn a window into a wall, and you could decorate it how you want. Or it could be a television or a computer screen. Well, that may be a little futuristic or too expensive for most people. But there's one area where homes are going to have to change. There will have been enormous pressure on us to cut down on our burning of fossil fuels to protect the environment. This means that energy management in our homes will become of critical importance. There are already materials that can help. This honeycomb material is being used on the outside of a building in Strathclyde to heat it by trapping the energy and diffuse daylight as it hits the walls. And aerogel, this is aerogel here, is a form of glass with a similar structure at a microscopic level. It can do the same job, but it'll be thinner and transparent. And if these two things become widely used by 2020, the coatings could one day reduce heating bills almost to zero and help to cut down our use of fossil fuels. The other key is for the home to use more energy more intelligently. The heating system could learn your daily routine and only heat the rooms that you'll be using. The living room would be at just the right temperature as you come downstairs. The people who are already planning the home we'll be living in in 30 years assure us that we can take as much or as little of this technology as we like. The crucial point is that there'll be no single home of the future, there'll be millions of different ones. We choose the type of home we want to live in, the technology takes a 